I came in, I was homeless. I, I didn't know where I was going to be, how things were going to turn out. And even in terms of my son, like, because he came in when he was born, he was very early. So I had to bring him back to Angel House on oxygen. He had a heart monitor. And although it wasn't a medical facility, they helped me stay, get his health stabilized. Just having that support and the accommodations they made, the VNA nurse being able to show up, and even those services. They didn't give up on me, the staff at Angel House, and that's the first time I've had people actually believe in me and care about me and um, not give up on me and turn me away when I needed them the most. And I know I push people away, so most of that was my doing in the last 20 years, but that goes a long way, especially even at my age, even at 40, like knowing someone's there and that has your back um, really made the difference in my life today. And they still are there for me, which is huge. I was and broken. I felt almost like an empty shell of a person. And I found like being there, it gave me my voice back because I had a lot of support, a lot of support from staff um, and my peers. And I, I had access to therapy and just being in a safe environment. I was embarrassed when I got there because I didn't even have money for diapers. And um, it was hard for me to ask and I did. Um, but if people didn't donate, if there wouldn't be programs like this. Um, it's just, I don't even really want to think about it because where would I be? I wouldn't be here. My kids wouldn't be here. It makes, it gives someone a chance at a whole new life that we didn't really think was possible. It's hard for me to put in words, but it means so much to have a place where you're loved and accepted, especially somebody that came in. I came from a very rough environment in terms of my substance abuse history. And just having that care and that support allowed me to be a parent, allowed me to have the place and the safety to develop a sense of self and who I am. Since being at Angel House, I didn't know who I was when I arrived. I don't think I ever really got to know me. I'm starting to know me for the first time. Um, I have hope for the first time, probably ever in my life. Um, I'm able to say I'm clean and living in recovery on a daily basis. Um, I'll have 16 months at the end of this month, and that's the first time I can ever say that. I am present in my children's lives. My older kids um, actually count on me today and call me when they need me, and I have my family back in my life, which I haven't had in a long time either, so I don't know. Angel House has done so much for me. <laughs> for people that didn't have the same emotional investment, to put so much and pour so much care into me and my son has been phenomenal. I go into play space and I pick up a six, six week old or an 18 month old and I, I just give a word of thanks for their moms having the courage to break the cycle of addiction and abuse so that this little one that I might be holding in that moment won't have to have the same kind of struggle.